A Bremerton doctor is also under arrest, accused of sexually violating at least two women who were being treated for back pain. But we've learned this is not the first time that Dr. Darren Schottner has faced accusations of inappropriate contact with his patients. Steve Kagans has the details from Kitsap County. Employees here tell me they're shocked. They say Dr. Schottner is an amazing man, but police say he's a criminal and they arrested him here this morning. I didn't know who it was until I, my friend told me. Anita Kiefer says she was sitting inside the waiting room Tuesday morning when police showed up to make the arrest. That's when she called a friend. I just saw some uh, detective walk in. What's going on? She said, my doctor got arrested. And I'm like, what doctor? You know, she's just like, Dr. Schottner. And I'm like, oh my God. Police say a 35 year old and a 46 year old woman accused Schottner of sexually violating them during their exams. Investigators say Schottner could face a charge of rape in the second degree. Kiefer worries because her children are Schottner's patients. It's kind of scary just because he saw he sees like my my two younger sons. I mean, they're teenagers, but still, you know, when something close like that. But it's not the first time Schottner has been accused of inappropriate contact with his patients. The State Department of Health required Schottner to take part in training after another patient claimed he kissed her during a 2011 exam. But Schottner did not admit to any wrongdoing. And in 2012, he was allowed to continue practicing medicine without any direct supervision. Administrators said Schottner has been working at Peninsula Community Services since 2011. But I'm glad he was not her doctor. You know, so eh, I feel bad, but what can you do? You got to stop him. Now, Schottner's bail was set at $50,000. He's scheduled to be in court on Wednesday. And investigators worry there could be more victims out there. In Bremerton, Steve Kiggins, Q13 Fox News. The Bremerton doctor accused of rape faced a judge in Kitsap County this afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Lorch. And I'm Marnie Hughes. Prosecutors said 15 more women have come forward claiming that he sexually violated them, bringing the total to 17. Steve Kiggins has the latest on this developing story. Now, Dr. Schottner's medical license has been suspended by the state, but police worry that even more victims could come forward. 46-year-old Darren Schottner sat in court with his wife. Prosecutors asked the judge to hold him on a million dollars bail, but the judge set bail at $250,000. Police say his victims have all very similar accusations, ranging from inappropriate advances to indecent liberties and up to rape. Very consistently and very surprisingly similar to the accounts given by the initial victims in this case. Investigators believe all the women were victimized by Schottner while they were seeking treatment for ailments ranging from migraines to back pains. But police say his victims might have felt they had nowhere else to go for treatment. In a situation where their resources or their options for health care are very limited, and so some of them feel stuck that they have to go to Dr. Chotner. He certainly used his position to violate these women. That's without question. The state suspended Chotner's license, claiming he's a danger to the public. Police say their phones have been ringing off the hook with new claims against the doctor. Some of these victims that are coming forward have been seeing Dr. Chotner up to three years. And they always thought things were different or strange, um, but they were never comfortable bringing it forward, you know. Most people are, trust and have faith in their physician and just trust that they're doing the right thing for them and they don't want to believe that they've been violated. Now, Schottner had a similar issue back in 2011 where he was accused of kissing one of his female patients. He was allowed to continue practicing medicine after completing some training, even though he didn't admit to any wrongdoing. Now police tell me they're planning to reevaluate that case as well. In Port Orchard, Steve Kiggins, Q13 Fox News.